Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most important techniques in, in the world of hockey. The forehand shot is one of the most important things. It's a lot of fun, it can get you a lot of goals, so let's see how we can do it. Let's go! Alright, so the forehand shot is so important in hockey. And the biggest question is, how do we hit the perfect forehand shot? Well, if you ask me, the perfect forehand shot is all about one thing in particular, and one thing is balance and contact. The contact of the ball needs to be correct. The way you hit the ball, the way you get contact on your stick is always gonna determine whether your forehand shot is gonna be a good one or a sloppy one. So, let's get into the basics. So, step one, and that's one of the most important things for me, whether you hit the ball with your left foot forward or with your right foot forward, whether you are close to the ball or whether you are far away from the ball, for me the shoulders are the most important thing. Like I said, balance is key. <clears throat> and for me, the shoulders always need to be lined up perfectly to shoot towards the goal. So the most important thing is balance and contact. And the balance comes from the shoulders. If the shoulders are positioned correctly, you can shoot anywhere, but you need to aim with your shoulders, just like you're aiming with a gun. So if I want to shoot in the left corner, the top left-hand corner, my shoulders need to be lined up like this. If my shoulders are lined up like this, and I want to shoot there, I need to overcompensate, and I'm probably not gonna get the right contact. So if I want to aim left, I need to make sure my shoulders are lined up like that, so that if I shoot, I can aim to the left side of the goal. All right, so as I explained, balance is important and also contact on the stick is also really important. How do we get the perfect contact on the stick? So this is where we want to hit it. We don't want to hit it here, here or here because we're not hitting reverses, we're not slapping. We want to hit it exactly here on the sweet spot. And once you get the sweet spot, your power comes, comes easily. So how do we line up? We've got our hands at the top of the stick. We step out with our left foot. We're about one stick length away from the ball. And we're going to try and move our left shoulder on the same height as the ball. And from here, we're going to make a backswing. And we're going to shoot and accelerate through the ball. So like I said, if you want to get power on your shot, it's not all about muscle. Some of the players with the hardest forehand shots were definitely not the strongest guys in the team that I've played with. So it's all about technique and about accelerating through the ball. Another thing is, when you want to hit the ball, try not to get too low and cramped and try not to make yourself small, but try and stay high and keep your head above the ball and make sure your backswing is nice and wide. And from here, the acceleration gives you a much more powerful shot than if you're cramped and small. So try and stay high and long instead of cramped and small. It looks like this. All right, like I mentioned, the forehand shot being successful is all about balance and contact on the stick. So before you start hitting it as hard as you can, try and make sure you get the hang of being well balanced and getting great contact on the stick. Then after that, you can try and create more power. So what you can do to practice at home is take five balls and just try and aim for the bottom right corner or wherever and try and see how many times out of five you can get nice contact, stay nicely balanced, and then see if you can aim where you actually want to shoot. I'm gonna give it a go. All right, good luck. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked that video. Uh, just remember, creating something and creating a skill is all about practice, practice, practice. So practice at home, practice that forehand shot, make sure you stay balanced, make sure you get the right contact, then the speed and the power comes naturally. Good luck, see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys, bye-bye.